Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, and today is Tuesday at 12.35 or so. Um, I'd like to continue on the topic of the gallbladder that we started last week. We had a lot of positive response and a lot of questions regarding the gallbladder. So I'd like to recap some of that and give you more symptoms related to the gallbladder. Um, our office is located in uh, the Merrimack Valley here in Massachusetts, uh, very close to the New Hampshire border. Uh, we specialize in the utilization of functional medicine, functional neurology, and utilization of some homeopathics and nutrition to figure out those complex uh, patients who have a multitude of symptoms, yet they go from doctor to doctor and they can't quite figure out what's going on with them. So if you'd like to look us up, it's www.drjinsung.com or our phone number is 978-688-6999. And I'd like you guys to give me a good thumbs up on the video so I know you guys are watching. And today we're gonna to talk about the gallbladder, okay? So here in the United States, there's about 750,000 gallbladder surgeries per year, okay? That's a lot of gallbladder surgeries and a lot of them could have been avoided. So according to the uh, British Medical Journal, they say about 50% of those people who have surgery really didn't see an improvement in their digestion, okay? And the real question should be, why do I have issues with my gallbladder? So there's something called biliary stasis, where the gallbladder gets really sluggish and it's not, it's not pumping out the, the bile um, uh, production from the liver. So just to look at it, the liver produces the bile and it goes into the gallbladder and the bile has a certain function, right? The gallbladder has a certain function. You have that organ for a reason. It's not something that you should just cut out because you don't need it, right? Um, so it basically it's produced in the liver and then it, it dumps into the little sac in, in a gallbladder. It's, it's off onto the right hand side. So what is, what is the purpose of that? The gallbladder is uh, necessary for fatty acid metabolism. It is important for emul emulsification of fats, right? So you have fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, right? A, D, E, K um, are fat-soluble vitamins. And you need proper gallbladder function for those fats or fat-soluble vitamins to be broken down for utilization. If you do not break down these fats, you're going to have deficiencies in those nutrients. So, if, you know, if raise your hand if you have low vitamin D or you've been diagnosed with low vitamin D, right? It's an epidemic. I mean, I'm here in the Northeast and literally everyone that comes in uh, who's not on any vitamin D supplementation is low. Okay? But it's really an epidemic across the country. It's not just here in the Northeast. It's in places like Arizona, California, right? You know, even Hawaii where it's nice and hot and warm and you got plenty of sunshine. Um, there is an epidemic of lack of vitamin D. So I'm going to tell you what. If you are lacking vitamin D, most likely you're also lacking vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin K because these fat-soluble vitamins are not being broken down and utilized properly because of poor gallbladder function, right? The other function of the gallbladder is to excrete toxins. The bile salts basically bind to these toxins and then it needs to go excrete out through the GI tract, right? So if you don't have proper bile production and proper dumping of the bile, then you're going to have an excess load of toxins, right? Also, the bile stimulates the, the small intestine, large intestine to create peristalsis, so contraction, so you can actually have normal bowel movements, right? So the bile is very important for a lot of these things. So you have to have your gallbladder. If you don't have your gallbladder, you need to supplement properly in order for your gallbladder to function or to have the proper bile um, metabolism and dumping, okay? So here are some symptoms. I mean, we mentioned a few last week, but let's go over it again, okay? Number one, nausea or vomiting, right? 
right? So if you feel nauseous every time you have a fatty meal, you may have a problem with your gallbladder, okay? Uh, a fatty stool or floating stool, right? When you look in your, your, your toilet, it, it, it breaks apart and starts to float around. It looks kind of greasy. That means you're not digesting your fats. And it's a very bad thing because you need your fat metabolism in order to function at a normal rate. Like your cells, right? It's, it's bilipid layers, your, 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 your nerve cells. Um, you need proper fat metabolism in order to function. Number three is pain in the, the mid-back or more of the right posterior shoulder in the right side. Uh, the referral of the gallbladder uh, being dysfunctional can radiate into a chronic kind of, you know, my shoulder is very stiff, I don't know, I keep stretching and it's aggravated with meals, with fatty meals, okay? The other thing is abdominal pain. Um, number five would be like gas and bloating. You have a lot of gas, you know? And you, you know some people think it's funny though. Oh yeah, so-and-so is farting all the time. But in actuality, it's very bad. Uh, they're having issues with digestion, right? Uh, number six would be itchy skin. You know, always dry and itchy. Jaundice or slight yellow color dis uh, discoloration, uh, maybe in the eye uh, or your skin, you look a little jaundice. Uh, headaches is also a big thing. You know, if you have migraines and headaches and that's persistent, uh, no matter what you do, like you go to a chiropractor, you get adjusted five million times, and your headaches never go away or it keeps coming back, then you might want to look at the gallbladder because it could be a issue with uh, with the sluggish gallbladder. Uh, dry skin and hair is also another symptom because like i said you need those fats you have to be able to metabolize those fats so it can nourish the skin okay uh, sometimes with people with gallbladder have chemical sensitivities um, you know toxic fumes uh, gasoline fumes perfumes cigarette smoke it can set somebody off and you can have chemical sensitivities right also we see it a lot with hypothyroid patients uh, or low functioning thyroid patients um, and the number one cause for that is Hashimoto's thyroiditis which is a autoimmune disease, right? Um, I also see it a lot with fibromyalgia patients. People who have a lot of pain uh, will have some fibromyalgia symptoms like muscle pain, right? Uh, the other thing is light color stool. Your stool color will change. It would not be the normal brown. Oftentimes it will alternate but you might see kind of a clay whitish color rather than a brown normal color, okay? So you gotta look out for that one. Um, also, you might have issues with weight loss, like persistent weight loss issues. Um, you can't digest your fats, um, you can't dump your uh, toxins, and then you're gonna retain water, you're gonna be inflamed, so you can't lose any weight, okay? Uh, skin rashes, uh, irregular skin rashes. Uh, it could be gallbladder related, but I often find that it's related to the GI tract also. So anybody who's got issues with digestion, um, bloating, um, parasites, and those types of things can have skin rashes. Um, oddly enough, sometimes they develop IT band issues or iliotibial band, this band that runs along the side of your leg. Uh, it can develop issues uh, in that area too. And then oftentimes with gallbladder patients, they have a loss of hunger. Uh, because they're not digesting their food, it's just kind of fermenting there, and they have issues kind of like, oh, just something sitting here and I can't digest my food, not really that hungry. Like, they skip meals all the time just because they're not really feeling hungry, or it's because they're nauseous, okay? So, let me go back and real uh, quickly recap all the symptoms, right? Nausea, vomiting, fatty stool, um, pain in the shoulder, abdominal pain, gas and bloating, itchy skin, headache, migraines, dry skin, hair, uh, chemical sensitivity, hypothyroid, fibromyalgia, uh, light color stool or clay color stool, um, weight loss issues where you can't, it's, you're kind of, you know, have an issue uh, getting us beyond a certain point in terms of weight loss, skin rashes, uh, iliotibial band issues, and loss of hunger, okay? So those are all the different symptoms related to the gallbladder. And there are nutritional supplements, that, like I mentioned last week, that can help with this. Um, for those people who have their gallbladders removed, you will probably need uh, supplementation for the rest of your life. Um, but for those people who are 
uh, having some of these symptoms, you still have your gallbladder, you definitely want to address that, okay? Uh, like I said, I use a product in my office. It's called Bile Min, B-I-L-E-M-I-N. Um, it's a product from Apex. It's a great gallbladder support, and I recommend it for all my patients who have issues with their gallbladder or, or with digestion. Uh, it's, a very, it's a fantastic product uh, to utilize for gallbladder issues. Um, in our office, we like to test and figure out why, uh, if we have gallbladder issues, you know, a simple blood test can help us decipher what's going on there. So if you're interested in making a consult with us, give us a call at 978-688-6999. And uh, we'll see you next week on the healthy side. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. We'll see you later.